Simpson is fast becoming one of the most talked about and successful coin collectors of our time. The Texas business executive, who is co-chairman of the Texas Rangers baseball team, is amassing one of the most amazing private coin collections ever assembled. All you need to do is take one visit to Simpson Sets on the PCGS set registry and you'll see what we mean. At the fun show last month, PCGS and Legend Numismatics proudly co-sponsored a display of one of Mr. Simpson's most amazing sets yet, the Simpson collection of wartime off-metal Lincoln scents. This collection features the unique 1943D bronze scent, which Laura Sperber of Legend Numismatics acquired for Mr. Simpson at a price of $1.7 million, making it the most valuable U.S. small scent in the world. The 1943D is the centerpiece of this one-of-a-kind off-metal set, which includes the only trio of 1943 PDS bronze scents ever assembled along with the extremely rare 1944P, 1944D, and 1944S steel scents. Not only is the Simpson set the all-time finest in the PCGS set registry, it's the absolute finest possible given the scarcity of the coins. And now, in this exclusive interview with PCGS set registry manager B.J. Searles, Laura Sperber recounts how the transaction took place and what it's like to have such a dedicated collector as Mr. Simpson as a client. We hope you enjoy her remarkable story. I'm sitting here with Laura Sperber, and we're very proud and pleased to be displaying Mr. Simpson's off-metal collection of Lincoln Scents. Uh, just wanted to ask a few questions about the collection and maybe you can fill us in a little bit about Mr. Simpson as well. Sure. Of the three uh, copper cents, was the 43 the first one he purchased? No, the 43S was, and that used to be my personal coin. Ah. And I had a project outside of coins I needed to raise some money for, and I just took a flyer and offered it to him, and I, I didn't know the whole story that he thought he had a 43 copper, and he bought it immediately, and that was his first coin. Okay. So the pedigree of the 43S is yours. Correct. Where did the 43D come from? The 43D came out of a private collection. Um, I really can't go into the pedigree beyond that. Okay. And then the 43? Uh, the 43 also came out of the same collection as the 43D. Now he uh, later bought the 44 steel pennies? Well, what people don't know is we bought a package deal with the 43D. There's a 40, the 44 in MS64, and it was a 42 in white metal in that package as well. I see. It was a $2 million package. Okay. So when he had one or two of each date, then he wanted to get the whole, all six of them? Well, I think it was Mr. Simpson's goal to, yeah, to get all six. Okay. And I understand there's kind of a mystery about the uh, coins that were struck on the silver planchets? Well, we, we just thought they were neat, and you know, we, here we have the steel and the copper, which no one else can ever find, and yet, okay, even if it was an error, to have one in silver is just as cool, and we thought it should be included in the group. Did you know what the story might be about those coins? No, but it just might be uh, they were struck on leftover blanks, or they fell in the wrong hopper, or something like that. Laura, you're Mr. Simpson's broker-dealer. How is it that you were first acquainted with him? Um, well, Mr. Simpson uh, had come back into coins. He had been a coin collector since he was young. Well, not young, but whatever. He'd been a coin collector for quite a while. He left it to pursue his business interests. And then he came back and started looking for dealers on the Internet. And we know he looked around several places, and he found us. And uh, when we saw he was a little different in his buying pattern than most people, <laughs> Um, we hopped on a plane and went down to visit him, and I guess we we're the only ones who did, and ah. we kind of uh, got the uh, prize. That's wonderful. Um, he is building a historic collection yes, with he your is. help. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about a few of the significant coins that you've placed in this collection? Well, everybody knows about the big ticket items we buy at auction, but we buy other coins as well. Uh, last year we bought. I think the second nicest 1808 uh, two and a half dollar gold piece, PCGS MS63, definitely the original, real nice luster. Um, Mr. Simpson has specific sets he'll do, his 10 Indians, which are his favorite, his Saints. Uh, he has complete 
proof collections of Cedar Dimes, Barber Dimes, all of those are the finest. But he loves great coins. He will just buy great coins. I see. What do you think his long-term goal is? Do you think he's building the set to sell it off? or is No, it... he's not selling. Mr. Simpson is a real collector. He loves his coins. Um, he's definitely not going to sell them any time in our lifetime. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wow. They're being stuck away. <laughs> well, the, the thing about Mr. Simpson, yes, he's buying all these great coins, and a portion of them are stuck away only because he has such a huge collection, but we are committed to displaying various parts of the collection whenever we deem feasible. For security reasons, we can't display large selections. Right. So from time to time, like with the 43 coppers, which are his, probably his all-time favorite coins, we wanted them displayed. Every a a show uh, will do displays. So his collection will be made public, but it has to be in very limited quantity. Oh, well, I hope PCGS can help you with that. PCGS will always be able to help us. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, did he start collecting as a child? He did, and he didn't have any money as a child, so, you know, he just did the usual. Oh, this through. is like a rags-to-riches story. It's an absolutely rags-to-riches story, absolutely. Um, he'd go through coffee cans of change, and he'd go through, you know, change in pockets, and go through uh, rolls and look for silver. You know, then he went off to college in the military, and he came out, he didn't have much money. He started... Uh, as a, he, was, he started his career as an accountant with one of the big accounting firms. And uh, from then on, you know, he began his business career. And as you may know, he ended up selling his company, XTO Energy, for $36 billion to Exxon. I had Exxon. heard that, yes. Yeah. That's awesome. And now is he, he's the um, co-owner of the Rangers? Is that what it is? He, he is co-owner of the Rangers, well, co-chairman. Um, they have several owners, but... I would have to say, from what I know, Mr. Simpson is probably the lead owner. That's yeah. wonderful. And he enjoys it. He, I know he makes a lot of decisions because I could be talking coins with him at 10 o'clock at night, like I did the other night, and they had a call come in, and I believe they went over the signing of uh, one of their new players for $80 million. Ah. So he's, at, he's at, act, actively involved. Is he doing anything else besides that since he sold his company to Exxon? Coins. Coins, yes. He always answers the phone, coins. Does he really? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> That's great. Right. Well, yeah. Laura, thank you so much for this interview and for thank allowing you. us to display the off-metal Lincoln Zen collection. We thank PCGS for being so wonderful and for all the help with his collection and his collections and all his coins and everything. I'm looking forward to the A&A and getting something there to show everybody. We haven't decided what we're going to pick yet, but it'll be something exciting, I can promise you. Okay. All right. Thank you.